symmetrical components. In the last class, we have seen the Fortescue for theorem that is, he is stating that an unbalanced system of n phasors can be resolved into n system of balanced phasor called symmetrical components. Now, our study is for three phase power system. Therefore, we are dealing with three unbalanced phasors can be resolved into three sets of the balanced phasor. Those things are given here. That is, out of three unbalanced phasors, the first set is called as a positive sequence component. It is a consisting of three phasors having an equal magnitude and they are displaced by 120 degree and their phase sequence is the same as the original phasors. That what we are calling is the positive sequence component. It is consisting of three phasors equal in magnitude and displaced from each other by 120 degree and having the same phase sequence as that of the original phasor. And the second component we are extracting from unbalanced phasors are a negative sequence components. Once again, these uh, negative sequence components having equal in magnitude for all the three phases and once again they are displaced by 120 degree but the phase sequence is, is, is exactly opposite to the, the, the original phases. That is, it is a consisting of three phases in equal in magnitude displaced by 120 degree and having the phase sequence opposite to that of original phasor. If it is the original phasor is ABC, then the positive sequence component, they are following ABC sequence, whereas the negative sequence component, they are following the sequence of ACB. And the third component we are ex extracting from the, the unbalanced phasors, uh, that is what we are calling is zero sequence component. This once again, these are uh, three phasors having the equal magnitude and here the zero sequence component the phase displacement each other is zero that is it has got zero phase uh, displacement from each other whereas the positive and negative sequence the phase displacement of 120 degree having equal magnitude but in the case of zero sequence component the all the zero sequence component magnitude is same however the phase displacement is zero. Now we were uh, naming three unbalanced phases as the phase A, B and C. The nomenclature what we are using is A, B, C is the three phases of unbalanced system. Then the phase sequence what we are considering for either voltage or occurrence as the original phase sequence of a system is A, B, C. Then the rightly pointed out in the last slide is that the sequence of first two sequence component is the same as the original phase sequence. That is, if the phase sequence is ABC, that is the original phase sequence is ABC, that is the phase sequence of unbalanced phasor is ABC and the post two sequence component phase sequence is also ABC. However, the phase sequence of the negative sequence is ACP. It is exactly opposite to this. That is, it is ABC which is same as the original unbalanced phasor whereas the negative sequence has got the phase sequence of ACB. Here VA, VB and VC are original voltage vector. These are unbalanced in the nature. The three sets of symmetrical components are designated by additional subscript of 1. That is, if you are resolving VA into its symmetrical components that is the positive sequence voltage, negative sequence voltage and zero sequence voltage that can be represented as VA1, VA2 and VA0. VA1 means it is a positive sequence component of VA, VA2 is the negative sequence component of VA and VA0 is the zero sequence component of a VA. Similarly, you can make use of subscript 1, 2, 0 for the VB components and the VC components also. Then the synthesis of unsymmetrical phases from symmetrical components. How we are extracting, how we are extracting the, the balanced phasor from the unbalanced phasors. That we have to see that is the synthesis of unsymmetrical phasor from symmetrical components. 
that is I have got here the unbalanced system having just I am taking A, B, C as unbalanced phases. A, B and C are the unbalanced phases. Their sequence components are zero sequence, positive sequence and a negative sequence component. For B, the components are B0, B1 and B2 that is zero sequence, positive and negative. And similarly for C, it is C0, C1, C2 that is zero, positive and uh, negative sequence component of the phase C. That is what you are calling is the unbalanced phaser. Means unbalanced phaser can be resolved into its symmetrical components as A0, A1, A2, B0, B1, B2, C0, C1, C2. Or if you are taking specifically voltage VA here, then VA0, VA1, VA2. And if it is VB and VB0, VB1, VB2. If you are taking voltage VC, then VC0, VC1, VC2. If you are applying this for the current, it is I is equal to I naught I A one I A two, I B is equal to I B naught I B one I B two, and similarly we have to apply for the phase C also. Now I have got unbalanced phaser. Unbalanced phaser means the magnitude of all the phases, phase where all the three phases are not equal each other. You can see here A has got greatest value, then B has got a different magnitude, C is also has got a different magnitude. At the same time, the phase displacement between A to B and B to C or C to A is not 120 degrees. If it is a balanced system, both all the A, B, C having the, the same magnitude and the phase displacement between A, B, C is 120 degrees. Here, the A, B, C have got a different magnitude and phase displacement is not exactly 120 degrees, therefore it is a unbalanced system. This unbalanced system can be resolved into its symmetrical component for analysis purpose. That is, first I am extracting a positive sequence component from A, B and C. Therefore, I am drawing here A1, B1, C1. These are the positive sequence component of the phase A, B and C. You can observe here the A1, B1, C1 has got same magnitude and they are displaced by 120 degree and the phase sequence you can observe here it is A1, B1, C1 that is A, B, C here also it is A, B and the C means the positive sequence component have got the same magnitude and the phase sequence is same as the original unbalanced phaser. Therefore, this is what I am calling is the positive sequence components. I am extracting from this unbalanced phaser. Next component I am extracting from the same unbalanced phaser is negative sequence component. That is I have got A2, B2 and the C2. These are the negative sequence component of phase A, B and the C unbalanced phaser. Once again you can observe here A2, B2, C2 have got an equal magnitude and their phase displacement is 120 degree. But you can see the phase sequence it has got opposite to that of the original unbalanced phaser. Here it is phase sequence is A, C, B. The original is A, B, C here but negative sequence it has got A, C, B phase sequence. That is what we are calling is the negative sequence component. And the third set of the, the component we are drawing from this unbalanced phaser is zero sequence component. I told you that these zero sequence component have got a same magnitude that is A0, B0 and C0 they have got an equal magnitude but the phase displacement between A0, B0 and C0 is 0. A0, B0 and C0 is the 0. Phase displacement is 0. These components what I am calling is zero sequence component. These are called as the zero sequence component. Then means that is unbalanced phasor can be resolved into a balanced phasor of three sets. One is positive sequence, negative sequence and zero sequence. Here you are resolved into three sets because you have got three unbalanced phasor. Then the three sets of the balanced phasor we are getting. Then the question arises. Suppose if you are adding this positive, negative and zero sequence component whether I am getting the unbalanced phasor back. That you can see here in the next slide.
Now, in the reverse also it is true. If you are adding the positive sequence component, negative sequence component and zero sequence component of A, then I am getting an unbalanced phasor of A. Similarly, if I am adding the B1, B2, B0 for the phase B, then I am getting unbalanced phasor of B, C1, C2, C0 of C. If I am adding, then what I am getting is the, the original phasor, the C. That we will see. First, I have got the original, the positive negative and zero sequence component. That is same as the previous one. This is a positive negative and zero sequence component I am taking first. I am adding these three so that I have to get this particular A, B and the C. You can see here that is I have got the positive sequence component, negative sequence component and zero sequence component. Then to get the phase A value that is unbalanced phasor A that is what I will add A1, A2, A0 that is first to the A1 I have to add A2 then I have to add A0 so that I will get the, the value of A so that you can observe here. That is, I have got the symmetrical components. These are the symmetric component. Component. These are the unbalanced phases. I have to get A, B, C. If I am adding A1, A2, A0, B1, B2, B0, C1, C2, C0. Just first, I, you have to concentrate on the first. To get this A, to get this A, what I have to add? A1, A2, and A0. Just you can look into here. Just I am bringing this A1. So here, yeah, I am getting A1. That is, if you are looking to the, this one, I am getting this A1 from here, just from the origin I am starting here, from the origin A1. To this A1, I have to add A2. I am extracting A2 from here. Just we can observe carefully. Just this is A2. Just same thing I am bringing here and adding to the tip of A1. To the A2, I have to get A0 and add to this A2 so that you can see here. So that I am getting the A0. Means the whatever the component I am extracted from phase A as A1, A2 and A0, if I am adding A1, A2 and A0, I am getting the, the original phase, phase value of the A, that is unbalanced phase of A. Similarly, you can concentrate on the phase B. Once again, I am starting from the origin here. First, to get B, first starting, I am bringing B1. To that, I am adding B2, then B0. First, I am bringing this B1. You can see here, that is a B1. From here, I brought. Then, B2 I am bringing and adding to B1. B2. That is this B2 I brought here, the parallel. Then the next is to the tip of B2, I have to add B0. Just you look into here. B0 is added. So that what I am getting is the original, the value of B. That is so that I am getting B. So that B1 plus B2, B0, if you are adding vectorially, so that what I am getting is the value of B. Similarly, to get to C, to get C, I have to add C1, C2 and C0. Just you can see here, I am bringing this C1 to the, the origin. Yes, here I am brought it. Then to the tip of C1, I have to add C2. Added C2. To the tip of C2, I have to add C0. C. I am getting the value of C. So that it is true that that is that is an unbalanced phasor can be resolved into its symmetrical set of components. If it is a three phase, you are getting a three sets of the components. One is called as a positive sequence component. The second set is called as negative sequence component, and the third set is zero sequence component. Then 
if you are adding a1 a2 a0 then i am getting the original a or that is unbalanced phase r a can be resolved into a1 a2 a0 this is how to analyze synthesize the unsymmetrical phases from the, the symmetrical the component